It's Monday, July 25th, and I'm in Humble, Texas, in my backyard. Just had rain today from the Gulf. The last time it rained on July 4th weekend, we had some plant damage and water um, issues in a swimming pool. This is the first time we've had rain from the Gulf since then. Um, so I wanted to come out and look at what's going on with the plants. There's been a lot of reports of plant damage after rain. These are my zinnias. They were perfectly fine yesterday. I came out here when it was sunny. They were all blooming and colorful. Now you can see that some of them are, this one right here is discolored. It was pink and now it's like a yellowish color. Some of the flowers have completely, the petals have completely fallen off. These were all fine yesterday. There's some there that are turning brown. A whole bunch of them have died and there's a lot of leaf damage. They look very yellow and damaged. Yesterday there were a bunch of butterflies out here and um, there's another one that they all look really discolored. I think there was only just a, like maybe a one good shower today and then just some steady rain. But these look like they're really, really not doing well. There's those burn holes that people have been talking about and showing. These have burn holes all over them now it looks like. It looks like these plants that are lower to the ground look a lot better. These zinnias are terrible. There's some more zinnias that look really sad. Like I said, they didn't look like this yesterday. Everything was bright. There's something with a big hole in it. A big burn hole. These are my okra plants. That burn looking stuff. Like, first they look discolored, and like the dark green gets lighter, and then it and then it gets more and more damaged. I'm trying to get my camera to. There's some with big holes in it now. That wasn't like that yesterday. I just picked this okra yesterday, it looked fine. There's a big discoloration on a lot of the leaves that are on the outside. I guess that got more of the rain. There's more zinnias down here that look like they're also dying. There were no holes in these leaves yesterday. And now there's holes in 
look at this one. There's another one that looks really bad. Well, I guess I won't be eating this okra. Here is a, a bloom that was on the okra. Let me see. Right there. It was starting to bloom yesterday. Now the bloom is all discolored and wilting. My basil plant looks good. It doesn't have any of that. It's lower to the ground. My um, cucumbers started to die off after the last rain in July uh, 3rd after the Alex rain came through here and they have never really recovered. This okra is going to recover. Well, let's go over here. These azalea plants are starting to show some holes in them. Not a lot though, for some reason they're not as... They're closer to the house, maybe they didn't get as much rain. They do have some holes in them though. This is more okra, and down here are, it's getting dark and it's hard to see, this is an eggplant, it's got those holes burning the leaves and spots. And the tomato plant looks like it's just kind of wilting or something, which is weird because we've had a ton of rain. You'd think if we had a ton of rain, they would be growing. Here's an eggplant, but I don't know. Well, that looks like some bug got to that. So, you know, we weren't really sure what was happening at first because we thought, oh, maybe it's just bugs eating it. But everybody is having the same symptoms with their plants turn colors and then get holes in them.